class 12th chemistry we were discussing coordination compounds in this video we will discuss how to write formulas of mononuclear coordination entities in the previous video we have discussed if formula is given how can we write the name of coordination compounds okay then in this video we will discuss about if name is given to us how can we write the formula of coordination compound first rule is the central atom is listed first this is just opposite to naming in case of name first we write the name of ligands then name of metal atom now in this case first we list the central atom the ligands are then listed in alphabetical order the placement of a ligand in the list does not depend on its charge okay whatever the charge we will write the ligands or we will list the ligands in alphabetical order polydentate ligands are also listed alphabetically in case of abbreviated ligand the first letter of the abbreviation is used to determine the position of the ligand in the alphabetical order the formula for the entire coordination entity whether charged or not is enclosed in square brackets when ligands are polyatomic their formulas are enclosed in parentheses parentheses means small bracket ligand abbreviations are also enclosed in parentheses there should be no space between the ligands and the metal within a coordination sphere when the formula of a charged coordination entity is to be written without date of the counter ion the charge is indicated outside the square brackets as a right superscript with the number before the sign for example this is the coordination entity with a negative charge okay that's why first of all this coordination entity is enclosed in the square bracket this is coordination sphere then this charge is indicated like this is 3 negative in this case charge is 3 positive the charge of the cation is balanced by the charge of anion these are the some rules to write the formula of a mononuclear coordination entities now discuss with some examples write the formulas for the following coordination compounds this is tetra amine aqua chlorido cobalt third chloride again see this is a single name single word and this indicates that it is a coordination entity and this chloride is a counter ion first we will write the formula of this coordination entity and in this case the metal atom is cobalt that's why list this cobalt okay then tetra amine it means amine is nh3 and tetra means this is four times okay then aqua chlorido aqua aqua means h2o this is again polyatomic ligand that's why enclosed in bracket and chlorido cl this is the coordination entity enclose this into square bracket then counter ion is chloride cl then how can we balance the charge so first of all we will find out the charge on this coordination entity how cobalt the oxidation state is plus 3 this is given this in the name this indicate the oxidation state then this ammonia is a neutral that's why charge is zero water is again neutral charge is zero chloride this is that is chlorido ligand this is negatively charged and minus 1 okay then if you solve this then this will come to positive that's why the charge on this coordination entity is to positive and chloride this is negatively charged with one negative okay then how can we balance the charge then this two will come here that's why the final formula is this okay take some more example this is potassium tetra hydroxido zincate second now in this case this potassium this is a counter ion 
this is K and as we know potassium uh, charge one positive and this tetrahydrox hydroxidosing K this is negatively charged coordination entity and in this case metal is zinc K it is Zn okay and what are the ligands hydroxido hydroxido means OH and tetra means this is four and close this into square sorry square bracket it should be square bracket then find out the charge on this coordination entity oxidation state of zinc is plus two and there is four hydroxido ligand and each hydroxido is minus one then we can say net result of this plus 2 plus 4 multiplied by minus 1 okay that is this is 2 negative this is 1 positive and this is 2 negative then if you balance the charge then this 2 will come here that's why our formula is this okay come to the next one potassium trioxalate to aluminate third again this potassium this is a counter ion which is positively charged because this is written first and this one is the coordination entity which is negatively charged and this metal is aluminate it means aluminium this is al okay and oxalato oxalato is a ligand and its formula is c2o4 and this is trioxalato that's why in and close this in parenthesis and this is trioxalato and enclose this in square bracket now find out the charge on this coordination entity aluminium oxidation number is plus three okay and this is plus this is a three oxalate ion and each oxalate ion carries two negative charge now if you find out the net result this will come three negative and to balance this is one positive and this is three negative this three will come here that's why our net formula is k3 in square bracket alc2o4 thrice next one is dichlorido bis ethane one two diamine cobalt third now in this case first metal is cobalt this is co this is dichlorido that is cl or two time then ethane one two diamine abbreviation we can use this is en and this is base means this is for two time okay then find out the charge on this cobalt is plus three each chloride ion is minus 1 and there are two chloride ions that's why this is minus 2 plus En neutral and its net result is 1 positive that's why this is the formula of this compound next one is tetracarbonyl nickel 0 okay nickel metal is nickel and I and carbonyl CO and tetra tetra means four times then what is the charge on this you can see what is the oxidation state of nickel this is zero and this is carbonyl this is again neutral that's why zero plus zero and this is charge is zero and it is not required to mention that's why it's formula is nico4 is that clear thank you